Alright, and we're back to it. Um, okay, so... We're in the residence. Put away my ink ribbons here. Uh... I could probably stow my handgun. For the time being. I got the shoddy and the magnum. But, as you are about to find out... The game is going to throw us a few curveballs. A few new enemy types as well. Oh, right, it's locked. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and try these doors. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, see? Curveballs. <laughs> uh, shoot. I probably could have... I didn't want to... I didn't want to risk not being able to hit him because he had an invincibility thing going with the crawling animation. So I'm just going to try and knock him off the roof here. Oh, good. Oh, that's even better. Oh, fantastic. Wow. Okay. That could have gone better. I wasted a few shotgun shells. But yeah, <laughs> giant spiders. <laughs> yeah, believe me, when you're when you're playing the original, when it first came out on the PlayStation as a kid, that that is just like, dang, this game is insane with the uh, enemy types. Oh right, yeah, this has to do with a puzzle. There's like a... A color-coded key code to a, to a door in this place. Um, and there's, there's symbols are a uh, part of it. But yeah... <laughs> when you're a kid and you're playing this game for the first time... Even in the original, it's a kind of a shock to the system because you're just... You're just thinking, oh, it's, it's just gonna be... A, a, just a place full of zombies, right? And zombie dogs. But then, when you think about it, you already fought a giant snake, so what else can they possibly throw at you? I'm loving the posters, by the way. <laughs> you can tell this is like a... a break room of some kind. The winner will be named chief for a day of the Raccoon Police Department. Yeah, see, there's like all kinds of... rec room kind of posters in here. Let's see, I think there's three candles, yeah. I don't believe these were in the original. Uh, it was a different kind of uh, puzzle, I think, but... Uh, they wanted it, they wanted you to utilize your lighter a bit, a bit more, I think, when they decided to remake it. Oh yeah, the red book. That has to do with the puzzle, too. I will also go ahead and open this guy up. It's probably a first aid spray. Oh. Oh, green and blue herb. Okay. That's in case I got poisoned just now, but I didn't, so we're okay. I don't think there's anything in the book. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, see, it's blank. Yes, there is a puzzle later on as we move forward. <laughs> More uh, poster action there that I'm enjoying quite a bit. Okay, this is the third one. Yeah, it's a... Uh, so it's like an orange light associated with an open... Another open eye, except it has, doesn't look like it has a pupil. Oh, right, yeah, this is where you get the numbers for the... For that puzzle, too. So let's see, we did six... Three. No, we did three, six, and five, I believe. So, oh yeah, forgot about that guy. <laughs> he doesn't really attack you, I don't think. He's just kind of there to remind you of that. Well, like a like a real life spider, you sometimes see them in the corner of your roof somewhere, and you they just sit there. 
<laughs> but he's just gonna chill out up there. No sense in wasting ammunition on him. Ah, yes. You don't want to, uh, maybe I'll demonstrate it later, but you don't want to walk over the holes in the floor there. But I am trying to beat the game with as few as deaths as possible. Not that it would kill me, it's just, uh, it's pretty f creepy what comes out of there. <laughs> These, these environments so good there doesn't seem to be anything useful just the sound design too is so cool let's see uh, newspapers lie scattered about they all seem to contain articles about stars oh really Umbrella is interested in stars. Interesting. Okay. That one's locked. Just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh, it's a nice little map. Okay, we got the map of the residence, but... Uh, oh! There's also something behind the map. There's a hole in the wall here. You see a giant beehive. Oh, okay. <laughs> and yes, they start crawling out. So we will ex make an expeditious retreat there. They don't do too much damage. They're just annoying. But yeah, giant bees. Oh. Oh my. We got blood on the door. This shirt is soaked in blood. I love the absence of music in these scenes. Plant 42 report. Okay. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Oh, goody. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host's anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. No one on Earth will you blah blah blah. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring necessary nutrients. One source is through its root, and somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Of course, as you do. Ever since the bas basement has been like a pool. So yeah, the chemicals down there prior are affecting its growth. Yeah, and they don't know what it is. We're sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the, play, the prey of its blood. <laughs> We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. Of course. <laughs> so when the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. And yeah, basically, they're even when it's killing their their coworkers, they're still trying to study it. It's so screwed up. Old newspapers and magazines. Some appears to have vomited blood on the newspapers. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is where the game gets really interesting. Oh shit! Oh crap! Where do you come from? It's an obvious it's obviously a zombie, but Oh, I must have been in the bathroom. God damn, he got impatient. And that's his reward. A 
12 gauge lobotomy to the head. <laughs> wow, I didn't think. Interesting. I guess they expected you to go into the bathroom right away. <laughs> he got a little antsy and decided to come out and see me instead. <laughs> This music. Uh, I think you can drain the bathtub. Or not. One of these bathtubs you can drain. Water's leaking from the tank. So we got a flooded bathroom. Never a good thing. Oh, okay, yeah. That's for the door. Back where I've saved it. Let's go use it, shall we? Yeah, I love this, the blood-stained handprint there. <laughs> We're just gonna jog our way through. Yeah, see, they're on you. They're on you like nothing. <laughs> I don't think they poison you. They just definitely, they'll bring you down to caution if you let them. But yeah, so we already got two new enemy types, giant spiders and giant hornets, or beehives. Uh, I guess I should take this with me? It wouldn't hurt. And we'll combine. I think you end up using... No, this is where I came in, that's right. I think you end up using these pesticides to kill the beehive, or a pesticide. I can't remember where I get it though. Yes, we will discard that key. What the hell? Oh, right. I remember this now. It is the most, one of the darkest things in the game. This guy hung himself rather than become a zombie. But obviously... it He didn't have too much success. <laughs> yeah, there's not much here, I don't think. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. Suicide note. Oh, joy. June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same for if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being a part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nuthouse. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. So yeah, very dark. <laughs> Hung himself, obviously, but was he successful? I guess we're about to find out. He said his buddy's in the bathroom, so we'll be prepared for that. Yeah. He's on the floor there. I guess it's holding plug. I imagine he'll get up as soon as it's drained. Control room key. Okay. Oh, yep. Here he is. Hey, mister. Oh, man. Oh, I was robbed. Oh, and I used a flash grenade. Not good. Oh, I don't want to be in here when it goes off. I'll use this little guy, though. <laughs> yep. 
Oh, and it brought me into caution. God dang. Not my best round. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else. Shit. I would rather have saved that flash grenade for... for something else. Oh, well. I don't think he gets down. I could if I provoked him, but I think I'm just going to leave him hanging there. <laughs> Because I do believe he falls off at some point. But yeah, super dark stuff they added to this. <laughs> and that's why we use the boxes to the right. That's plant 42, by the way. But yeah... <laughs> We're getting through it, though. Running low on ammo. I've got one shotgun shell left, and I'd rather save the magnum rounds for something... something that could use it. But we are about to go down into one of the most interesting parts of the game. This part blew my mind in the original. Because... I, had, I guess I'd, when I was a kid, I didn't have a realize the scope of what this place was. Like, I knew that it was a mansion, and then we were off on this side area into the residence, and I was like, okay, so I guess it's just going to be this a few other buildings, but I had no idea that it was going to go underground like this. And yeah, it... it there's this just this huge underground complex. And you're like, oh, whoa, what is this? And in the remake, it just ups that with the, this new music here. Because you don't, you, you just have no idea the complexity of what is actually going on in the game. Because you knew there was a... Okay, there's this bio, there's probably this biological bioweapons research going on, and that's what's caused all this havoc. But you don't know the, the scale of it yet, and this is kind of a... Kind of an indication of what... Oh, jeez, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. And I gotta get my team and get out of here, you know what I mean? <laughs> At least it seemed that on the on the original PlayStation and in the original game, it just it seemed a lot bigger. You know what I mean? Granted, as the series goes on, it, it, it gets ludicrous. But like this was just really cool because you weren't used to had these it, you weren't used to games having this kind of depth before. I don't know. It was just one of the reasons why the original was so kind of revolutionary at the time. Because it's it's almost it's perfectly paced in how it doles out more and more to to the player. So yeah, when I was a what what just growing up playing this game was like, holy moly, I am not prepared for what's down here and yeah if you if you don't expect this you're you are not prepared for what's about to happen <laughs> I know there was some documents up there that talked about the the water ring but you don't have any idea of what the water ring actually what's actually down here and uh, we're about to find out <laughs> Richard! Chris! Chris, stop! No! Richard! 
So yeah, zombie shark. Several zombie sharks. <laughs> And, you know, when I was a kid, I was screaming, What is this game? <laughs> yeah, we gotta get out of here before the big guy decides to chomp down on us. I have the control room key, so we can get in here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was so intense as a kid. And then even more intense when they remade it for this game. Because that, that was not uh, Richard's original death. He just died from being poisoned by uh, the giant snake. But yeah, that definitely made it more intense. Him getting chomped by... Yeah, look at him swimming around back there. Oh my god. And of course, in the remake, it's totally expanded upon. Because in the original, it was just like one box room with a giant aquarium in the middle that just broke open. But this is like a whole entire... It's like... It's like a sphere or something, or, you know... Caution, in case of a draw. Oh, right, yeah. This is about to happen, too. Yeah, it's like a whole... There's a basement level, and then a, 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 a first floor level to the aqua ring now. That's right. Yeah, we gotta drain this sucker. That ought to take care of our shark problem, right? Oh! Emergency! No. Emergency! Unknown source of pressure detected. He's getting impatient. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. So yeah, we gotta do a little... Little bit of lever action here to get this thing to close. If he, uh, if he breaks through the glass, we're screwed. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember how to do this correctly. Otherwise, we might be screwed. <laughs> oh, shit. Of pressure threshold. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's set one, so... Emergency drainage system immediately. We'll try it again. Oh, right, I forgot, I forgot about the safety. No, these, these designers, sick, sadistic bastards. Reaching 70% of pressure threshold. This ought to do it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So we're safe now. Drain the water. And that should take care of our shark problem. Or does it? <laughs> but yeah, there was none of this in the original. Such a cool way to expand on it without, you know changing it drastically yeah so this is really cool this whole place was just flooded with water and even on the on the gamecube it, this was just so mind-blowing like i can't even believe they were able to, to just up the visuals in such a way and i think oh sweet magnum browns I think that, uh... I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I wanna say it was only like five or six years after the original came out that this one came out, right? Yeah, yeah I see what I mean about... <laughs> Our shark problem is solved, or is it? 
And here's the big guy. God, look at all the scarring he's got going on. Breaking through all that glass. T-Virus just made him super aggressive. Uh, I forget. Do I pull this first? It's still alive. Oh, duh. I turned this power on first like a dumbass. So I gotta... <laughs> Total amateur hour right now, but... It's okay, I haven't played it in a while. <laughs> and we'll throw the switch. <laughs> and that ought to do it. Little little things like that just brought this remake to a whole new level. Oh yeah, that's the gallery key. Okay. And yes, he's dead now, so we have nothing to fear from him. <laughs> But yeah, he had two little ones there. Just so cool. Uh, okay, so this is obviously, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the, yeah, there's, the gallery is printed on it. I need to get rid of this little gun. Yeah, there's all this, just all this stuff that was floating in the water. I think those boxes are gone too. But yeah, man, this was just so cool in, on the GameCube. Just Shinji Mikami, when he came back to redo it, just really knew how to redo it, you know what I mean? Like, um, I think that's everything. There is that... That one room... Oh, crap. I can't get there now, though, because... I'll have to go back the other way. <laughs> I think, I think there's stuff in that room. It doesn't doesn't say it from the map. It doesn't look like there's anything in there, but I think there's something in there. So I'm just gonna go check just to be sure. Won't take too long. But yeah, even the music is redone just so well. Like I think in the original there was that dun dun dun. Uh, sound, but they added this creep, this other like creepier layer of music there that just really sells it. I think I could go through this door again. Yeah, because otherwise, how am I gonna get there? Yeah, it's open, right? Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> I could finish it off, I suppose, but that'd be a waste of ammo. Guard room. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so this is where Plant 42 was uh, getting its nutrients from the water. If you tried to go in here earlier... I don't think it does anything to you. Because it's not doing anything to me now. Let's see if there's anything back here. 
Control system for the water tank. So I guess the story is here... The story here is that some guy broke the... went crazy and broke the shark tank, which then flooded the... flooded the... the aqua ring. Which then put a bunch of chemicals in the water, because they had a bunch of chemicals down here. Which then caused the roots in Plant 42 to get sustenance from that water, the chemical-ridden water. And which caused... that is what caused Plant 42's growth. I think that's what happened. I'm pretty sure that's what happened, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, that's pretty much it for down here, I believe. We'll make our way back up to the gallery. And I believe that's where we have to deal with Plant 42. But I'm pretty sure I weakened it, because I took away its uh, water source. So we'll see what happens here. I'll go ahead and save it just uh, just to be safe, <laughs> so to speak. But yeah, man, that blew my mind when I was a kid. And then when you put two and two together, like, oh, there's the mansion still. So is there something underneath the mansion, question mark? Why, yes, there is. Yeah, I'll go ahead and use it. We'll, go, we'll get rid of the key, and then, uh... Get, a, get away from me! <laughs> you damn bees! Actually, I probably could have just ran through here... No, we gotta kill Plant 42 still. So get ready for that monstrosity. <laughs> But yeah, Whew. we went, we got through there pretty much a little bit unscathed. Had to use a few herbs. Uh, uh, maybe I'll grab the magnum rounds when I, when after I save it here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take care of this plant forty-two. And that ought to be pretty fun. 